Hey friends, look what I got in the mail. The Keto Chow Company reached out to me and offered to send me some egg white protein to try and I'm so excited that it just was released and is now available. I love that other brands are jumping on the bandwagon um, with the egg white protein powder. I think people are starting to see that there is a very big interest in egg white protein powder and I love that people are adding it to their diets getting their protein up. And I think the more companies that start adding egg white protein powder, the better it is gonna be for us consumers, especially for you guys overseas. I know it's a struggle getting it for a decent price. And I'm just hoping that in the future that things will start changing and it'll become more readily available. But right now I'm just excited to try out the Keto Chow brand egg white protein powder. They developed this with the one and only Maria Emmerich. Of course, Maria Emmerich is the godmother of the whole egg white bread movement that's going on right now. As far as details about this protein powder itself, there are two ingredients. Um, a lot of the egg white protein powders on the market only have one ingredient, which is dried egg white powder. But in this one, they have added sunflower lecithin as well. There's also a Judy's version that has sunflower lecithin. And basically what it does, it just helps it mix in more easily without clumping. Sunflower lecithin is something I have no problem adding to my diet. I'm not sensitive to it in any way. I'm glad that they use the sunflower lecithin rather than the soy lecithin, which is also something that's in a lot of products. But of course that is something that you'll have to weigh for yourself, whether you want sunflower lecithin in your diet or not. Keto Chow also totally unexpectedly sent me a ton of their other products to try, their meal replacement shakes. I'm excited to try those. So many flavors that look really good. I will be doing a taste test with the kids with those. I'll let them pick out some flavors that they really want to try. I know a lot of you guys really rely on their opinions and their reviews for the products that you purchase. So as a service to all of our viewers, we will definitely be doing a taste test and review, give you some thumb ratings so you know which flavors are the absolute best. But right now I am going to head into the kitchen and whip up a batch of egg white bread with the new egg white protein powder from Keto Chow. I'm going to be doing one of my current favorite egg white bread versions in this video. I keep getting asked what is my favorite recipe right now, but it keeps changing and keeps evolving uh, as I continue to experiment, which I will. But this version is one that I did in my butter powder video, and it is butter powder added as well as some arrowroot added. Both of those additions make the bread absolutely amazing, and I can't wait to try it with the new Keto Chow egg white protein powder. Here are all the ingredients I'm gonna be using. I have one and a quarter cups of water, which comes to about 295 milliliters. Allulose, I'm gonna use one fourth of a cup, which is 36 grams. Arrowroot starch, I'm gonna use two tablespoons, and that comes to 16 grams. And yes, arrowroot does add a little bit of carbs to the final product, but I find that it's a very, very low amount, and the texture that it gives and the improvement it gives to the bread is totally worth it to me, but you can leave it out if you'd like. I do two tablespoons, which comes to 16 grams, and it adds about one carb per serving to the bread. I'm also gonna add some Redmond Real Salt, some cream of tartar, of course, the egg white protein powder, and at the end, after I've whipped up the egg whites, I am going to add some butter powder for flavor and for texture. First thing, I'm gonna add my water to the bowl, one and a quarter cups. I've started adding my water first because I find that if I do that and then throw all of my dry ingredients on there and mix it up, I don't have to worry about any of the dry ingredients getting stuck to the bottom of the bowl. It mixes for so long that everything gets perfectly incorporated that way. So one thing that I'm noticing here is that the servings are a little bit different than the other brands of egg white protein powder that I've used before. On the other ones, one fourth of a cup is a serving and they said one fourth of a cup equals 20 grams. And so um, that would mean a half a cup would equal 40 grams. But on this brand, they have a half a cup equaling 50 grams. Volume measurements like cups and tablespoons are so tricky because things get packed down so much that there can be variation in how companies measure and calculate the serving size. So that's totally expected. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to go by the weight that I have used in previous recipes. So in previous recipes, I've used 
one and a quarter cup, which equals 100 grams. But with this brand, 100 grams would equal just one cup. So I am gonna do 100 grams of the Keto Chow Egg White Protein Powder. And according to their measurements, that is one cup. As always, measuring by weight is by far the most accurate way to measure things when you are baking. It can vary so much um, with, you know, just scooping something out of a container. It compacts it so much that you're really running the risk of getting just the wrong measurement and getting a really bad result um, if you don't measure with weight. So the smell of this egg white protein powder is really, really clean. Some of the other brands can have a little bit of a strong smell right out of the bag. I don't notice that it transfers to the bread, but um, I will mention that this one has a really, really clean smell. So if you're sensitive to smells, this is definitely one that you would probably wanna go for. Next is a half a teaspoon of cream of tartar, half a teaspoon of salt, one quarter cup of allulose, which comes out to 36 grams, and two tablespoons of the arrowroot starch, um, that equals 16 grams. And very important, don't mix the butter powder in yet. Anything that you add that has fat in it, you have to add it at the end after everything has already whipped up. So I'm gonna start this on low and slowly move it up to high speed and then whip it at high speed for five minutes. I do notice a difference with how fast it's mixing in. I think that's gotta be the sunflower lecithin that is um, helping it to just dissolve in there really fast. I'm finding that I have to mix it at a lower speed for a longer amount of time because I think it's because it dissolves so fast, it's really, really splattery. And so I just want it to get really frothy before I pick up the speed or else it's just gonna splatter everywhere. I don't notice that with the other um, brands and I think that's gotta be the sunflower lecithin. Put a towel over it because it's pretty splattery. All right, guys, it's been five minutes and it's not whipping up. I'm gonna just let it whip longer and see if it will thicken up. Maybe it's a fluke. Maybe it, I had something on in my bowl or on my mixer, so I may try again. But I want to see if I can still salvage this. Um, just by mixing it more than five minutes. See how it goes. So it took 10 minutes total, but it did end up whipping up and that looks like it's supposed to. So I'm very happy about that. It just took extra long. Not sure exactly why. I'm guessing the sunflower lecithin. So I know that um, the sunflower lecithin is gonna be great if you're using this like to add to protein shakes and stuff because it'll mix into your shakes faster. I don't know if it gives added benefit to making the egg white bread or not, but I think that's probably the primary reason that they put it in there was for people that are using it in shakes. I had heated up my griddler just in case the batter didn't mix up all the way. I was gonna cook it as pancake batter, which is a great thing to do if you ever get a batch that doesn't whip up correctly. So you may be able to hear that. My gr griddler is making a loud noise in the background as it cools down. Now I'm adding my butter powder. I'm doing one fourth of a cup, which comes out to 24 grams. I'm gonna just mix that in gently until it's just mixed in. I don't wanna mix it for too long or else it will fall too much. Falling a little bit is okay. When you add any kind of fat to your mixture, it will make it fall a little bit, but that actually gives it a really good texture as long as you don't let it fall too much. So I'm just gonna mix it on level two for a few seconds here. I'm gonna get this all mixed in in the bottom just to make sure I have that butter powder all mixed all the way through. I have my oven preheated to 325 and today I'm gonna make some mini loaves. The slices that I get from these mini loaves um, are perfect for my husband's breakfast sandwiches that he eats every morning. So I'm always making lots of mini loaves. They come in very handy and they're so cute. 
since the batter does deflate whenever you put any kind of a fat into the batter at the end, you want to make sure that you go really quickly and get it in the oven as fast as you can. Since these are small loaves, I'm going to set my timer for 30 minutes, but they might take up to like 35 minutes. I'm going to go ahead and mix up one more large loaf, and I just wanted to see if it was a fluke that it took so long to whip up or um, if that's just going to be the normal amount of time that it takes with this um, egg white protein powder. So five minutes again and it's at the same spot it was before where it's still pretty liquidy. It is starting to get frothy but definitely not even close to done. So I'm going to do the same thing I did before. Turn the timer on for another five minutes and see where we get. Definitely don't do this without some kind of a splatter shield. Same thing again, 10 minutes to get it whipped up to where it needs to be. Gonna add in the quarter cup of butter powder again. gonna throw this into the 325 degree oven and I will check it probably at like 35 minutes. The mini loaves cooked for 30 minutes and they're looking nicely done. So I'm gonna pull those out to start cooling. They did that big split but it doesn't look too bad. That split really looks like a like a French bread or a sourdough you know slice what are those called I forget but the texture here looks really nice looking good so far I'm excited to cut into it I'll let them cool here for five or ten minutes and then I'll take them out of the pan and out of the parchment paper and then let them cool the rest of the way here is my large loaf got those cracks but that's pretty typical with the butter powder I don't get as pretty of a loaf with the butter powder as I do with the uh egg yolk powder or the whole egg powder, but I get a very tasty loaf, so it's worth it. The side sunk in just a little bit, but not bad at all. So I'm gonna get them sliced up here so you can see what the inside texture looks like. looks pretty nice. I got a big bubble in there. Here, there's one. Texture looks really good. Nice and soft. I'm going to give it a taste test. Flavor is really good. Flavor is really clean. Nothing weird or out of the ordinary. Definitely a good slice of bread. So here's the large loaf. It's the same recipe as I use for the small loaves. It took just the same amount of time to whip up, so I expect the results to be pretty similar. But we'll get it sliced here so you can see. Let's chat a little bit about this new egg white protein powder and some pros and cons from my first experience using it. As far as pros, um, if you are wanting an egg white protein powder to mix into shakes, this is definitely going to be a good option for you because it does have that sunflower lecithin in there and it helps it mix in a lot faster. Another pro is that if you buy this egg white protein powder, you're supporting a company that has great values. I love the Keto Chow company from everything I've seen from them. They have so many fans and I love that they're trying to make keto easy for people. I don't do a lot of meal replacement shakes and that kind of thing, packaged foods like that, but I know that people are in different places and I think that there is a time and a place for meal re replacement shakes and I think Keto Chow does a great job of providing that service for those people. So being able to support a company like that I think is a total win. Here's a quick view of the inside and the texture. Feels super soft, very, very nice. Now, as far as the cons, if you are using this egg white protein powder primarily for 
baking bread, which I do. The double mixing time was a bummer. It took me a full 10 minutes to mix when with any of the other protein powders I've used, it only takes five minutes. And because it did mix that long as a liquid, it splattered quite heavily. So I had to spend some time and some elbow grease on cleaning my mixer when I was finished. Thankfully it did whip up in the end. I don't know if I got the batter as thick as with some of the other protein powders. It still seemed a little bit thin, but part of that could be the difference in measurement like I talked about at the beginning. I did 100 grams of this, which would be one cup according to their nutrition facts. Whereas with the other brands, I used 100 grams, same weight, but according to their nutrition facts, that was one and a quarter cups. So maybe if I upped the amount of the egg white powder that I used to 125 grams to make it one and a quarter cups according to their measurements, I would have gotten a little bit thicker of a batter. That's a possibility. If I do end up having to use more of this egg white protein powder per recipe to get the same results as I get with using less of the other brands, then I will have to factor that into price when I'm figuring out what's gonna be the cheapest option. And that brings me to the last thing that I have to classify as a negative, and that would be the cost of the product. So this bag is 35 ounces, 2.2 pounds or one kilogram, and it costs $66 on the Keto Chow website. And that comes out to about $1.88 per ounce. And the price of getting egg white protein powder can really vary and it can vary depending on how much you buy at a time. So if you're able to buy in bulk a lot at a time, you're going to get a way cheaper price per ounce. So I thought it was only fair to compare the price per ounce of this bag with other brands that you can get in a two pound or one kilogram size bag. So I looked at Judy's brand on um, Amazon. Amazon and it's one dollar and nine cents per ounce so about 80 cents less per ounce and then the cheapest option that I found recently is bulk supplements and on Amazon or on their website you can get a one kilogram bag for 93 cents per ounce which is almost exactly half the cost of the Keto Chow egg white protein powder. Of course, the Bulk Supplements brand does not have the sunflower lecithin added. So if that's important for you to have that in there, um, definitely don't go with the Bulk Supplements. There are definitely more expensive egg white protein powders on the market. Um, for example, J-Rob is more expensive than the Keto Chow, but the Keto Chow is definitely not the cheapest one out there. I tend to be a bargain shopper, and so the price point on the Keto Chow egg white protein um, is, does have to be classified as a negative for me. But I will go back to my point earlier of supporting companies whose values you appreciate. It doesn't always have to be the cheapest product. Sometimes if we are valuing the company and we want to support them. That is a really important thing as well. And so if you financially are able to do that, I say 100% go for the brands that you support and that align with your values. So that is my review on the brand new Keto Chow Egg White Protein Powder. I hope it was helpful for you guys. And stay tuned for the video of us trying all of the different Keto Chow flavors. I have never tried any Keto Chow products before, so I'm very excited to see what all the hype is about because everybody seems to absolutely love them. And the kids were eyeing the packets earlier and they have already picked out some that they thought looked really good and they are very excited to do this taste test. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you again real soon in another video.